Hey everyone, today we're talking with Martin about his firefight army. Do you want to talk us through what you've got, Martin? Oh yes, well there was only one choice for me really and that was to go straight in, full ahead, doing the Marauders because they were brand new and there are some older sculpts in there as well so I could intermix and mingle them in with, with the brand new loveliness of the commandos. So um, <clears throat> the aim was to uh, try and build a thousand points as near as damn it to... Uh, because I want to go to a tournament at the start of July. That's the Elliot's that's in the Northern Kings uh, first firefight tournament. So that was my uh, goal for it, really. Um, but I wanted to try and build everything. I, if you've ever seen any of the Kings of War videos, I tend to buy everything and paint everything and then just see where I end up with points afterwards. So I've kind of done that <laughs> in the same vein. Um, but I started, as always, with ignoring the troops and going straight in for the fun stuff. So I start with the, the Hornet and then I went in with the Mule because obviously to get a, a couple of lovely things under my belt and make sure I was doing the right thing with the with the paint. And then I sort of blocked in all the colours for my Commandos and my um, and then I painted my lovely Ripper suits. Uh, they came out really nice. Um, and then over here is my work in progress section, if you like, where I've got a couple of weapons teams, a couple more leaders, some Hawks, uh, Stumbot, and some skyscrapers. And that's the new Marauder mule, isn't it? With the uh, It is, yes. On the back. Yes, I've got a rocket launcher there, yeah. Excellent. And uh, what was your favourite so far that you've, you've painted? The favourite one to paint so far was probably the Hornet, because I've wanted to paint a vehicle for quite a while, but just never never really got round to it. So I thought I would uh, dig out the airbrush and, and give that's that a go. That's all airbrushed, isn't it? Yeah, so I've kind of done two different things for, for painting. Um, with the vehicles and the more like armoured suits like these guys I've gone with a uh, almost like a, a, a British uh, RAF colour scheme um, so just, and I, want, I wanted as a scheme in general to be kind of desert warfare because I've not seen many about um, so this was uh, all airbrushed as was the as was the mule as well so uh, and these were all uh, painted by brush. Excellent. So, I mean, if you want me to go over what I use, so from a, from a paint point of view, I use uh, the Vallejo Yellow Ochre, and uh, to shade it, I used one of the new speed paints from Army Painter, and that was called Sand Golem, I believe. Um, so yeah, I just did all the nice shading, pre-shading, and then I, I, I use oil paints to do the panel lining. I still need to do the panel lining on these as well. Um, and I used all kinds of uh, weathering effects on the wheels to make it look like they're churning it up a little bit on the on the mule. Um, and then from a, a kind of an infantry point of view, I went more khaki. So I used some khaki from Vallejo for that. Um, and I'm, I'm not. I'm only halfway through those. They, those have just been weathered. I need to to bring up the highlights of those as well. So um, a good cross section of stuff I've been using uh, for the skin. Uh, I just got some new Pro Acryl paints and I wanted to give those a go. So that was like a dark black green, I believe, and then highlighted up to the yellow green, which is quite a striking uh, bright green. So that's the, the tone I've set for the, the skin tone on the army. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Martin. We're looking forward to seeing the rest of it all finished. Yeah, I can't wait till I'm done.